Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about another long term um, of the family planning matters. That's the IUD or IUCD, that is intrauterine device. So we'll talk about its types, the common side effects, and then its mechanism of action and everything you want to know about it. So kindly watch today's video to the end. I'm Janet Ousua, your community health nurse back up pick. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to get it. Also like, share, comment down below at the comment section. On my previous video, I talked about the implant, that is the Jadel and then Implano. Jadel for five years, Implano for three years. So I'll leave the link down below at the description box so you can go check it out so don't go anywhere so when you talk about um iud what is an iud an iud is a small flexible plastic device that is placed or inserted into a woman's uterus per her vagina to prevent pregnancy prevent pregnancy for 10 to 5 years but anytime you want it to be removed it is possible to remove it and get pregnant so supposing you have it on like 10 years and after two three years you want to take it off and get pregnant it's possible so there are two types of this iud that is the intrauterine device and then we have the hormonal um, releasing device and it is effective for five years and then we have the non-hormonal device and that one also is effective for 10 years and so the common one that is usually used here in Ghana is the non-hormonal method. So we are going to talk about the non-hormonal method, the um, non-hormonal device today. So the common type used here in Ghana is the copper tea. So the copper tea, it is um, a T-shaped flexible solid copper on each transverse arm. Um, a copper wire is around it. It has um, two strings attached to it and the stem. And then it is inserted into the uterus or the womb. I will show you how the IUD is. So this is how the IUD is. This is it with an applicator. So it's from this side to this side. And you see this blue strings. That is what will be left inside the cervix that you need to fill any time um, after your menses so this is how it will look like so this is it so it will be inside the uterus like this like this so this is it and this are uh, the strings that i was talking about so this is it about the iud this is the copper tea that i was i'm talking about so let's see its mechanism of action. Talking about the non-hormonal intrauterine device. One, it prevents fertilization. Two, it interferes with the migration of the sperms from the vagina to the fallopian tubes. Third, press transport of ovum through the fallopian tubes. And then it alters the functions of survival of the sperms and the ovum before they can meet. How do we use this IUD? So I use this. And before an insection of the IUD, a medical history is being taken and then pelvic examination is done um, to check the position of the uterus. And then with this IUD, only trained doctor, a trained midwife, or a trained nurse personnel can insect and remove this IUD. It's not like the other methods that you can do it by yourself, but this one, it's only um a trained doctor or a midwife or a nurse can do this IUD insertion and then the removal. And then the insertion process too is an aseptic process procedure. The cervix and the vagina are cleaned with an antiseptic. And then the device is gently and slowly, gently and slowly into the womb with an applicator. So the client is asked to come back to the facility one month after insertion. Then 
she should also check for the IUD being in place for weekly in the first month and then after every menstrual period. So after your menses, you check whether the strings are there. If it is not there, you report immediately to the facility. Then when she wants to get pregnant, anytime you want to get pregnant to so come to the facility, remove it for you, then you are good to go. And then she is informed to remember the 10 years she has to return for removal and then can be inserted as soon as the old one is removed then another one can be fixed or inserted. Partner can fill the device and not just the strings during sex. So let's see when we can insect this IUD. Immediately following childbirth within the first 10 minutes up to 42 hours. Then six weeks postpartum and breastfeeding and then six weeks postpartum no bleeding but negative pregnancy tests and then immediately stopping another method and then immediately after or within three weeks of the first trimester abortion when there is no infection let's talk about its advantages and then disadvantages so first take the advantages of iud's or iucd's one it provides long-term protection against pregnancy and then no interfere with sexual intercourse and then no hormonal side effects if it's the copper bearing type then it is reversible it is reversible and less expensive and it is easy to use and then fertility returns immediately when it is removed example is the copper t and the innate types then the copper bearing do not affect quantity or the amount of breast milk so if you are feeding if you are breastfeeding you can go in for this iud and it won't um decrease the breast milk production or anything and then it's also very effective um it's about 97 to 99 percent effectiveness and it's increased sexual enjoyment because there is no fear of pregnancy and no regular or frequent visits to the facility if you have it on unless you have a problem you won't even go to the facility until the time you want to remove it so let's the disadvantages of this iud's or the iucds it may cause light bleeding um between between periods in the first three months of use and then some women may have longer and heavier bleeding in the first three months and then it needs specially trained service provider to insect and then remove and it does not protect against STIs and then also risk of um, pelvic inflammatory diseases usually occurring at the insertion time and pain may occur during the insertion Okay, so let's see some of the early warnings or danger signs of this IUDs or the IUCDs. Period late pregnancy or abnormal spotting and um, bleeding. And then abdominal pain, lower um, pain during intercourse. Then infection exposure. And then example is STIs, um, sexually transmitted infections. And then um, not feeling well or fever and then chills and then strength and the strain missing kindly reports to the facility if you see any of these signs so let's see the non-eligibility of this iud's unexplained vaginal bleeding after sex infection and um, pelvic inflammatory diseases or stis possibility of stis in future pregnancy you can't have this iud on weights and then you can't have this iud on so we'll end here for today's video if this video is useful kindly give it a thumbs up like share comment down below at the comment section on my next video we'll talk about the permanent method that is the bilateral tubal ligation for the women and then vasectomy for the men so watch out for those videos too 
so kindly subscribe to this channel if you are new here like share comment down below at the comment section see you again on my next video bye guys